Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. I wish I could walk down the aisle and find the little wooden seats where she sat, holding tight to her even younger sister, alone, terrified. She doesn't yet know how much she will suffer, holding tight to her even younger sister, alone, terrified. She doesn't yet know how much she will suffer, holding tight to her even younger sister, alone, terrified. She doesn't yet know how much she will suffer. She doesn't yet know she will find the strength to escape that suffering. That is still a long way off. She doesn't yet know she will find the strength to escape that suffering. That is still a long way off. The whole future is still unknown and she stares out at the vast country moving past her. I dream of going up to her and sitting down next to her, taking her in my arms and saying, look at me, listen to me. You will survive. You will have a good family of your own and three children. And as hard as it might be to imagine, your daughter will grow up and become the president of the United States. I dream of going up to her and sitting down next to her, taking her in my arms and saying, look at me, listen to me. You will survive. You will have a good family of your own and three children. And as hard as it might be to imagine, your daughter will grow up and become the president of the United States. I am as sure of this as anything I have ever known. America is the greatest country in the world. And from tonight going forward, together, we will make America even greater than it has ever been for each and every one of us. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless America. From tonight going forward, together, we will make America even greater than it has ever been for each and every one of us. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless America. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. I dream of going up to her and sitting down next to her, taking her in my arms and saying, look at me, listen to me. You will survive. You will have a good family of your own and three children. And as hard as it might be to imagine, your daughter will grow up and become the president of the United States. So 